And now at five, seven people all very lucky to be alive and recovering tonight after fumes made them sick early this morning. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live tonight in southwest Miami-Dade with more on what happened. Peter. Well, Ruta Bay, the mother of the woman who was still hospitalized, told us this was an unfortunate accident. They had just returned from a family reunion in Orlando. She said that her son-in-law was charging his car battery inside the enclosed garage behind me and became distracted, and the engine ran all night. Yeah, she has a little bit more in her blood than we did. Christopher Hawkins is talking about his wife, Rosanna, seen with him in this Facebook photo. The couple and their 17-year-old son, Keenan, were rushed to Jackson South Community Hospital, as were three Miami-Dade firefighters and a police officer, after they were overcome by fumes at the Hawkins' home. All were released within hours, except Rosanna. She passed out this morning, or? For a short time, yeah. For a short time, but nobody else passed out then? No. Okay. That's why we're still alive. If we passed out, we would have been gone. Two dogs and a hamster were also rescued. You see them here in this video from Miami Dade Fire Rescue, who, along with police, were called just before 5 a.m. to the home at Southwest 227th Street and 103rd Court. Initially, it was a mystery. Cleaning products were removed from the home, and two bags of hazardous materials were loaded into a police car. We had summoned our hazmat team uh, because something just didn't seem right. We saw two of them were on the floor. Um, receiving oxygen. Rosita Black says she and her daughter, son-in-law and grandson had returned from a family reunion just after seven Wednesday night and her son-in-law started cooking while keeping his car engine running in this closed garage. The car in the garage was had a dead battery so he charged the car and he let it run. You know how sometimes you let the car run for a few minutes. Got distracted with the cooking and forgot. He didn't know anything until three four o'clock this morning when they were getting this woozy feeling and you know he woke up the rest of the family was upstairs asleep it could have been tragic you know, thank god that everybody's okay you know and it, it wasn't any worse and thank god that you know he woke up or or he realized that something was wrong now, Rosita Black told us that her daughter's been moved to another hospital and is receiving oxygen, oxygen treatment. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue confirms what happened here, saying it's never a good idea to run any engine whatsoever inside an enclosed space without ventilation. They urge you to consider getting carbon monoxide detectors, detectors because that gas is odorless. We're live in Southwest Miami-Dade, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Peter.